Africa Day 2012 at the London Business School. Africa, taking ownership, successes and challenges. I'm delighted to see so many of you here today and to welcome back many alumni, many of whom I've had the pleasure of teaching over the years. Since the launch of Africa Day 11 years ago, this has become one of the leading conferences on our campus. And the caliber of the speakers today and the audience so shows a real appetite for these topics. It's also a great testament, may I say, to the efforts of the students who have organized today's conference. So on your behalf, I would like to offer a very warm vote of thanks to those who have brought us all together today. discussion of trade and not aid was debated looking at growth through economic partnership chaired by Anne Viversi, editor of African Business, and joined by a number of guests, including Simon Liang, CEO of Evergreen Industries Group, Fabrice Enzi Bekali, and George Ajan, political consultant and strategist looking at trade versus aid. We've picked apart a little bit of the African growth story and seen the role of trade, and actually how we have seen this growth in EM uh, trade, but actually the structure has remained the same. And finally, back to us, we know the solutions. What are we doing about it and what can we do about it? As a political analyst from you know, the donor country, one is as a political advisor in the recipient country, and then the third is as a uh, private investor and entrepreneur who's taken the decision to take private capital on a very small scale relative to a lot of things we hear about at this conference from the United States to Africa. So I was speaking to a, a colleague of mine, uh, another political writer, political analyst, and I said, oh, I'm just going to London to speak at this conference, uh, and the topic of my panel is uh, trade versus aid. He said, well, that's pretty boring. I mean, that's been decided 40 years ago. Aid doesn't work. Aid just leads to more corruption, and it should be done away with. And, and I think the, the, the key question is not um, about whether trade is better than aid, but how can we uh, improve uh, trade so that it benefits uh, sustainably the uh, not only the country but the population as well.